What's up guys, it is Starflorge here and today I'm going to be giving you a low level mage build and some tips. So first I'm going to show you what I would do as a build personally and then give you some tips so you can do what you want and know how to effectively build as a mage. Now before you can reset your spells and make whatever you want, you are always going to start off with Winter's Grasp. Next I would go into Energy Barrage or immolate and then whichever one you don't take go into the other so if you take immolate and then go into energy barrage or there's another route if you go immolate you could also go wildfire but I would generally get energy barrage and immolate because the more spells at low level the better and also take barrier now if you feel that you really need survivability very quickly especially if you're doing something like a nightmare gameplay definitely take barrier straight away and then go into one of these two abilities by the time you have got any of these abilities or all of these abilities you will have been able to get a reset from the tactician's renewal if i've got that right and the first one is free so we can just say goodbye to winter's grass because i don't take it now what I do is obviously I first of all get barrier, next I get immolate and energy barrage so this is for a level 3 build, next I will take flashpoint so that's level 4 build, then I'll go wildfire level 5, pyromancer level 6, fire mine level 7, then go searing glyph level 8. Then for 9 and 10, I'll take Phase Step and Energizing Step, and that will be my entire low level build before I've got Specialization. Once you get Specialization, you can pretty much start following builds, but before then, this is what I run. And the reason I run this is because obviously Barrier for Survivability. Fade Step much later because I feel the initial spells are uh, much more key, but also for Mobility and Sustain from Energizing Step. Next we're going heavily into the Inferno Tree for some raw damage. Immolate with Wildfire and Pyromancer does around 1900% weapon damage which is insane for a single cast spell with no activation delay or anything and at 35 mana cost as well as Firemind doing some insane damage and also only costing 35 mana. So these spells are relatively low cost spells and we are also getting Flashpoint because it's such a key spell and because we've got Flashpoint is the main reason we've got Energy Brush. Now Energy Brush doesn't do as much damage as Immolate or Firemind however Energy Brush is extremely useful one because it can get around any object or scenario blocking you and also because it is 12 single projectiles. Now Immolate and Firemind do do overtime damage however Flashpoint doesn't work with that it only works with initial damage so for Immolate and Firemind Flashpoint will only work on each hit you get in the area. So obviously if there is only one mob in the 3 meters of your immolate you will only get one chance to trigger Flashpoint. If there's three in there you'll get three chances to trigger it as you have three chances to get a crit. However with Energy Barrage you actually have 12 chances to get a crit and I find every time I use Energy Barrage low level I get a crit pretty much flawlessly 100% of the time which allows me to set up some nice plays either with some barriers if I I know I am heavily under fire I will energy barrage barrier myself up and then I have the barrier again to be able to refresh it as soon as I need it because sometimes you will run out your barrier will run out before it's off cooldown however it's also extremely nice to be able to get immolate or fire mine now just an extra tip do not place two fire mines down because the second one actually removes the first one and just makes it disappear so there you go, that is my low level build. I find it works extremely well because you have some survivability, a bit of mobility uh, towards the late end of this low level build and you can absolutely rinse enemies with some insane damage. Now let's get into some tips for just generally building low level mages. I find you should pretty much always take barrier if you are solo because it is your core element to survive. Now if you are someone that finds you are just dying too much or t under too much pressure, 
uh, definitely take Guardian Spirit, which gives you 100% uh, barrier, has an internal cooldown of 60 seconds if you are going to die. So if you would die instead, you won't die, you will just be left on virtually no health with 100% barrier, and then uh, you have to wait another 60 seconds before this can proc again. And then if you are still finding you are under a lot of pressure take energetic defense because it's extremely useful uh, that your barrier doesn't decay for five seconds because the second you put your barrier on it will start decaying and during the fight it will also start to decay so having energetic defense means for five seconds the only thing that can destroy your barrier is enemies now you can also go purely into inferno and winter and i'm saying this as well as having just initially barrier uh, so once you've got barrier, you can just go as much as you want into winter or as much as you want into inferno. However, do not do this with storm. I find storm works extremely well with the other trees, but not as well as the others do on their own. Now inferno gets a ton of damage out, and if you go wall of fire, which is another very viable option because it also fears enemies and does a lot of damage you can get a ton of damage in inferno winter you can get damage bit of survivability mobility and overall it will take longer to essentially kill enemies but you can get around by having a lot of cc whereas storm kind of wants to be a bit of inferno a bit of winter in this lightning element so i find it works very well with the other trees as energy barrage works extremely well with flashpoint as well as all of them actually working very well with flashpoint uh gathering storm is very nice because your basic attacks shorten your active cooldowns this is maybe something if you really want lightning bolt for whatever reason go into gathering storm low level because it's very nice but that is basically my general tips my initial build and then take barrier go all into furno or all into winter or go a mix of all of them but make sure you kind of take energy barrage and flashpoint because it's so useful as early level i hope this helps a lot of people and i hope you guys all enjoyed this video so please leave a like comment below on what you think of this and hit that subscribe button and i'll see you next time